In our last video, we saw how we can create a plugin template in our Visual Studio. Now we'll move forward and see how we can write the plugin code. So let's go ahead and have a look. So as we discussed earlier, the idea is that we click on contacts and when you create a new contact and specify the details like first name, last name, and then save it, then the personal notes section should be populated automatically, let's say with the term hello world, right? So that is the target of our plugin at the moment. Now in our previous video, we had created this plugin template. So when we create a contact record and provide the details such as first name and last name, then these details are captured by this service provider, which is specified over here, right? So this captures those kind of details and this service provider has an execution context in it. And this context, which is I plugin execution context contains input parameters, which has got the target. And we are extracting this target in the form of entity. So here the entity is a generic class, which means that it can be any entity such as contact, account, task, case, etc. So you can access the attributes through this particular entity by saying entity dot attributes. So let's say that for a contact, when we specify the first name and last name, we want to first capture the data to read the attribute. Okay. So let us just try to add some code over here. So I will go into the try section and provide a comment over here to read from attribute values. We can specify a string called first name and then access the attribute by saying entity dot attributes. And then we need uh, the logical name of that field. So how you can achieve the, so how can you get the logical name of the contact first name? So to obtain the logical name, the classic way would be to go to your solutions, go to your contacts, go to the fields, and then you can look at the logical name of, or the schema name of those fields over here. Or if you want to save uh, the amount of clicks over here, what you can do is you can, uh, install this extension, which is a free extension called Level Up for Dynamics. So if you Google that, you will get this um, Level Up for Dynamics, which I've, I've already installed. And how this extension work is that if you are on the contact form, you can just click on this Level Up uh, extension and then click on Logical Names. And then over here, you can see that it also shows, apart from the display name, it also shows the logical name, right? So we can take this logical name, Control C, and then specify it over here that I want to extract the logical name, first name, right? And then convert it to string semicolon. Similarly, I can do this for uh, the last name. And for that, I can go ahead and copy the logical name of the last name and then specify it over here, right? and then change this as well. So in the variables, first name and last name, we are extracting and reading the first name and last name that we provide in the CRM. Now, as soon as we save the details, we also want to assign data to the description or the personal details section, right? So let's just say to assign data attribute, we can say, entity dot attributes dot add. So we want to add uh, the data, right? So we'll say add and we can provide the logical name description. And then what we want to fill. So let's say we want to fill hello world along with the first name and last name. So we'll just copy the first name and the last name. Right? So here we are reading the data and here we are writing the data. In next video, we will see how we can deploy and test this plugin. So stay tuned.